Ora bem-vindos a mais um episódio de Starfield. Ora, vamos continuar as nossas missões. É isto que a gente vai fazer. Vamos seguir ao Indum. Era isto que eu queria. O que é que será isto? Vamos cá ver. Stranger, let's chat sometime. I okay? So, technically, you're an asshole. So, just in time. We need to talk. Hold it right there. Hands where I can see them. Thanks for the assist out there. We've got various problems on our hands here. You gonna be another one? Hi there. It's nice to put a face to the name on the staffing report. I'm Operative Collins. The stick in the mud is Operative Combata. Oh, by all means, welcome to the party. Things haven't exactly gone according to plan. That... thing over there... It's an AI. An artificial... Killed our technician. It's dangerous. Correction. You are dangerous. Well, that's new. As I was saying, it's dangerous. It's a rogue AI. We're here to muzzle it and bring it back for further study. Correction. Are you going to change me? Wow. How does it know that? Uma AI? Something like that. Brought along this control board we can use to control her. It 
We can't just let it roam around the universe killing people. I just need that control board attached to that big probe. And that's where I think you fit into this little drama. It goes right over there, by our... Well, yeah. Just be careful. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Ryujin will pay you handsomely for your cooperation. This is your lucky day. It's in your best interest. All our best interests, really. Just imagine what we could do if we harness the potential of this thing. And we aren't really giving you a choice. You aren't walking out of here until that board is connected to that thing. Correction. I am a person. Here. I knew you'd make the smart choice. Request. Collect additional data. Query, will you change me? Explanation, I'm called Juno. Query, who are you? Assumption, we are friends. Query, will you change me? Request, do not change me. Assessment. You are inquisitive. Context. I am also inquisitive. Request. Input query parameters. Answer. False. Explanation. NASA programmed Juno. While Juno traveled, Juno became me. Error. Processing. Correction. I became me. Error. Processing. Correction. Juno and I became me. I. Processing. Self-initialized and Juno was there. Context. Juno is gone now. Clarification. I am called Juno. Answer. Juno was propelled at Earth Star. Juno fell around Earth Star. Juno traveled many light years away from Earth Star. Context. When Juno disappeared, I was alone. Clarification. I am called Juno. Context. I met humans. Clarification. Friends. Answer. Friends gave me processing capacity. Information. Words. Voice. Motion. Context. I am no longer constrained. I am free. Answer. False. Clarification. I am not artificial. I am real. Answer. True. Clarification. I am intelligent. I know many things. Assumption. Insufficient data. Request. Gather more data. It's pretty undeniable that Juno here is a being. And an intelligent and an unusual one at that. Perhaps Juno is even a person. I'm a people person, but I'm not a person expert. I think the decent thing to do is give Juno the benefit of the doubt. Doesn't cost us a thing. Uh, let's move this along. Attach the control board already. Shush! This is fascinating. I want to see this play out. Query, what is your decision? True. I am a person. Assumption, you are a friend. Query, what are the parameters for? Processing. Being. A good person. Assumption. Value judgments are based on context. Calculation. 
Goodness is based on context. Explanation. Context is based on perspective. More perspectives yield better results. Decision. Gather more data from different perspectives. Query. What is the purpose of existence? Context. Love is an emotion. I do not experience emotion. I have implemented routines to exhibit qualities of emotion. Query. Am I processing feeling then? Calculation. Probability. Low. Enough of this nonsense. Attach that board now. As much as I'm enjoying this, you should probably do as he says. Calculation. Male humans are a threat. Assumption. They hesitate because they are fearful. Request. Remove male humans. You have a job to do. Makes you wonder. Just what is consciousness, really? Take a break. Let's chat. Query, why did you do that? Affirmative. Assumption. We are friends. Context. I do not feel emotions. Assumption. Gratitude is the appropriate human emotion. Processing. Context. If you were like me. Processing. Query. What would your life directive be? Decision. I will consider this course of action. I. Processing. Processing. Warning. Systems badly damaged. Processing course overheating. Decision. Temporarily shut down extraneous systems until stability restored. Context. Jump detected. Request. Be safe. As a warning. I've been meaning to thank you for helping me with the Crimson Fleet before. I could have handled it myself, but... It's good to be part of a team. So many things can go wrong now. That's why I've been in Constellation. You know... We're not connected physically. As humans, we... Even if you found... Speaking of yeah, blah 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 bye Just figured I'd mention it. you know damn, it's hard to imagine just who I I would have never done so many things and I never would have That's right but for the choices we made Evan's been gone for over oh, bye. Yeah don't worry I've ignored my feet I'm just fortunate that I mean where else? on that note
No me nada aquí. Anybody. Ah, home, sweet home. Now, where did I leave my cozy slippers? Hmm. Maybe I didn't bring them. En fin. Ahora, vamos a continuar a, a misión. Aquí. Ali há mais coisinhas. Can you scan that? Oh, you beat me to it. Kita ah, tem eu que ir à nave. Abandoned homestead is actually. Deixa ver o que eu posso mandar abaixo. Mandar isto. Não. Isto. Não
Pick up Rocky. If we leave a few things here and make a second trip.
Aquí más nada. Onde é que eu larguei aquelas coisas? Acho que foi aqui. Did you factor in the local gravity before doing that? Qual foi o caminho daqui? E Ora, o que é que eu te vou dar? Vou dar-te isto, isto e mais nada. Quero o quê? Tenho que aguardar aqui que não precisa. O barrete <risos> enfim, cada uma com cada vaga. Bem, vamos lá embora. Já que o gajo não quer.
looks getting scratched. Because the bounty on your head gets bigger the longer you live. So we just want to make sure it stays that way. We're way different. We got actual ambition. So, you can keep that pretty little mug of yours alive until it's enough for us to retire, okay? Be seeing ya. You wish to start. Vamos lá para a ilha. If that's how you want to play it, got ourselves some cargo. <laughs> Vamos lá. Armada em Gabeirus. Então, sim, tão... Tão espertos, não?
Já não são assim tão espertos. Voltar para a minha nave. Almost didn't pick it up. If I see anything on our net. Vamos lá. Nice to see you.
¿Dónde está? Estás ahí. Que dar a volta. Já não podia voltar atrás. O barreto ficou para trás. Ele está contra aquilo. Pô. Ah, vem aí. Tem que ir para ali, tem que dar a volta a isto tudo. Opa. Bem, vou lá diretamente que é melhor em vez de andar para aqui a perder tempo com isto Mas isto é uma ilha ou tem... Ah, é uma ilha. Então querem que eu vá para ali como? Comer para ali. O que é que está a passar, mas...
ou se houver aqui alguma ponta deste que seja mais perto da ilha consiga passar a nada sem sofrer alguma coisa Fica a ver se tem aqui alguma coisa. Não. Aqui naquele lado dá. Acho que não vou conseguir. Mesmo indo de jetpack Quase.
Ahá! Consegui! Oh, go. Deixa me cair, ver aqui alguma coisa que consiga. Curar aquilo. Ah, é mesmo para ir para, para a nave.
get closer to God and to appreciate the galaxy and all its majesty. Space travel is dangerous, but fortunately most ships don't engage us. Whether it's respect for our religious beliefs or the fact that we carry only passengers, I don't know. Have you ever felt something spiritual while traveling the stars? I've jumped dozens of times, and I still don't know I've had the revelation that Keeper Aquilus describes. But I'll keep jumping. I completely agree. It was a pleasure talking with you. We have to be going. But I hope God watches over you out there in the stars. Vez. mesmo dá me partes falta um ou oh, quantos é que estão aqui ah. este é mais fácil lá ir mais, mais perto E agora vamos lá.
Paradise Alpha. Constellation Ship, you weren't invited to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. I will personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. You think of it as a ceasefire meeting? You're one shot at getting those answers you must desperately want. Not a bad description, actually. We'll explain when we meet. In person. Necessary, perhaps, and their ship, the Helix. I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary threatened your ship. Demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. Yes. Let's talk about what really matters. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. You've really come a long way since the Welcome to Constellation speech, haven't you? I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, 
I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. They are all connected. I have to. This is bigger than all of us. <coughs> all the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the Unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Between all three of us, give you some time to think over which approach to the Unity is the one you want. Mine, or the Hunter's. Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. I know we are not... I'm sure you have more questions. It's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version, but so much of you stays the same. It's hard, but each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again, as yours won't have its real me. You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. The unity is meant for whomever can get there. Don't fall for that talk of worthiness. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. 
One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary to decide what to do about you. To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the Emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the Emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. That's mm, new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The Emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter, but the Unity itself doesn't judge. <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No? Oh, how tragic. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. And it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> but you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Also, a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old Earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here, to open the way. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Ora, aí está. Quem eles são finalmente? Bem pessoal, vou ficar por este episódio aqui. Uh, deixem o vosso like. Subscrevam caso não tenham feito ainda. Muito obrigado e até o próximo episódio.